In this video I'll show you how to get this foresty eye look. I'm not really sure if it's actually a forest green color, but it is definitely inspired by how a forest looks and like what colors I think of when I think of a forest. I only use eyeshadows from this BH Cosmetics Ultimate Matte Eyeshadow Palette and I only used four different eyeshadows so it should be doable for most people I think. Um, I've never really played around with colors like these before and I think it turned out alright. <laughs> So yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then keep watching. I didn't know we were in the information society. I just primed my eyes by putting concealer all around, but um, now my eyes watery. Um, so that's a great start, but I'm just gonna proceed anyway. <laughs> the reason why I filmed the intro before I filmed the actual video is because I'm so awkward, like the first five minutes of filming which is what you're seeing right now, so let's um, let's get into it. First I'm going to take this small flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to start by grabbing this beautiful dark green shade. If you have a white base that might be even better because this is looking not quite the same color as in the pan. It actually applies quite nice just using the fingers. It's looking quite funny. And as you can see, I'm bringing it a little bit up into the crease, but not too much. And like when I open my eye, you can't really see it because my eyes are like a little bit deep set or like kind of hooded, but not quite. Then I'm gonna take this fluffy brush from the same brush set, it's number two. It's not the biggest fluffy brush, but it's also not a very small dense one, it's like in between. And I'm gonna take this green shade, which it looks a little bit... I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna take that as my transition shade. As you can see, hopefully the two shades haven't blended very much together yet, so I'm just gonna go in with a smaller, more dense blending brush with some of the darker green on it and try to blend them together. And then I'm just taking the other brush again and diffusing it a little bit more. I'm just gonna take the flat shader brush again and go into the darker green and take the mirror a little bit closer to my eye and reapply it. And going in with the smaller, more dense blending brush again and blending a little bit more. And with this one number two just gonna pick up a little bit more of the lighter green shade but like keep it above the crease right now then i'm gonna take a big fluffy brush from the same set and it's number one and i'm just gonna diffuse it even more i'm gonna come back to this part of the eye later but now I'm gonna move on to the under eye. And for the under eye, I'm gonna use a brown since this is inspired by like the forest. <laughs> and you know, like, it's not just green colors. I'm gonna try and go in with this brown. It's not like a very dark brown and not a very light brown either. So it's like in between. Obviously this depends on your skin color since I'm so pale, I can't just go in with the super dark brown. If your skin's darker, obviously just try to go in with a darker shade, so. But I tried a darker shade for my under eyes earlier today with this look and um, it was a lot. So also obviously depends on your eye shape. And 
and as you can see I'm bringing bringing <laughs> my voice cracked as you can see I'm bringing both the brown and the dark green like all the way into my inner corner I just think it looks kind of weird if it just suddenly goes into like a super bright shimmer shade so that's why I'm blending it all the way in there might as well go all out with the dark shades and since these shades out here aren't very blended right now um they're just kind of sitting there by themselves <laughs> um i'm gonna go in with the number two blending brush like the middle one i can't say middle right now i'm sorry i'll try it three times now just to scratch my nose that's lovely and i'm gonna go into the lighter green shade and try to like blend them together without getting like a super disgusting color. See how that goes. Now I'm picking up the more dense blending brush and the dark green shade and more so just pushing it like into the outer corner um, instead of blending. For some reason it won't really stick here. It might just be like a dry patch because I have a few of them. I'm not sure what I wanted to say with that. I just don't think I can blend this together right here because yeah, it's a dry patch and um, it's impossible to make eyeshadow stick on there. So yeah, I just picked up the middle blending brush again and just going over the crease again. But I think I blended it out a little bit too far and I'm just gonna pick up this light shade with another flat shader brush. This is from e.l.f. It's actually quite good. I'm just gonna like clean it up. And obviously how far you bring it depends on your eye shape but as I said mine are like kind of deep set hooded ish. So I don't really think it suits me to bring it out this far. Then I'm just taking the middle blending blah, blah, blah. Then I'm just taking the middle blending brush again and very lightly blending it out. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that a couple of times until I'm happy with how it looks. Um so I'm just gonna cut back in a second. <laughs> because that's boring to watch. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of highlight to my brow bone and I'm just gonna go into the same bright shade as I used before. And I'm gonna take the middle blending brush again and just go over a couple of times. That's fine. Now for the inner corner highlights, I'm not gonna use a shadow from the palette, but I'm not gonna go into any other palette. I'm just gonna use a highlighter. This is the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick. It's in the shade 200, so it's quite dark. I think it will go well with this eyeshadow look. The rest of the look I have tried out before, this part I haven't, so it's gonna be fun to see if I mess it up. <laughs> it's not that funny, oh my god. Yeah, this brush is not clean, but I'm just gonna use it anyway. So I'm just gonna pick up some of the highlighter and hope for the best. That doesn't do a lot. I'm gonna try with my finger, but I know I'm gonna mess it up because mm, even though my fingers aren't that large, I'm kind of clumsy. That's not too bad. I'm gonna apply a little bit more though. I'm gonna try to do the same thing to the other eye. Um, and then do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back with the finished look. So um, why do I look so pale? I don't know what's going on with the exposure on my camera. Mm, but yeah, this is the finished look. Also, I wanted to work out and shower before filming this, but I didn't, so um, yeah, my hair is kind of greasy. And I just discovered that my eyes are like bloodshot, so great. I actually quite like the finished result. I'm not usually into eyeshadows that are this dark. Um, I just think my eyes tend to look really small and it makes my skin look even more pale. Like in the monitor right now, I can see I look kind of dead. 
Um, but um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. So thank you so much for watching and um, bye. Bye. Yeah, I'll see you. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the information society.